to my garage. Today, we're jumping into Car Mechanic Simulator and building the world's fastest tricycle. We're gonna do things properly. We're gonna start today by finding our car from the junkyard, restoring it to perfect condition, whopping in a massive engine, and then we're gonna see what 100,000 horsepower can do on the drag strip. We're gonna play the game. How long is it gonna take me to find this car? Tomorrow. We couldn't end up finding one at the junkyard, so we had to hit up the salvage car auction. I'm gonna start bidding on this one because it's actually a lower price than this one. How hard could it be? Say hello to my reliant Robin. How much do we think this will sell for? If I could get this for less than like 3k, I think that'd be a dub. Could we could, stop bidding? Thank you. <laughs> you love to see it. All right. Oh my God. I've just noticed the mileage. The Reliant Super Van has arrived. So it's actually not a Reliant Robin. This one is the Super Van with a lot of area in the back for many activities. Like shipping AR-12 merchandise. There is a bit of a problem with the Reliant. It's not, it's not actually a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> the way this game works is you do need to have four wheels on your vehicle. But not to worry, I will make it up to you because we're gonna give it 100,000 horsepower. I think that should be more than enough to win some drag races. Obviously, we need to strip this thing down. Let's get all of the bits and bobs off and then we can begin the used car special. I've been subbed for 32 months oh. and I've never felt more scammed than seeing a four-wheel super van. You Thought this was the AR12 channel where we only scam our customers. We also scam our viewers. That's a joke. That's a joke. Anyways, bring it down. We need to remove the buddy work. Let's get rid of these dis disgusting doors, the disgusting windshield. I've done this really poorly. I just removed all of the bodywork, except I forgot to give it a wash. Uh, we're gonna go and get moist. I am a professional obviously. What color is it under there? It's British Racing Green. I need to get rid of all this disgusting rust on my super van. We're already looking better. Before we move on, we do need to figure out what we want to do first. Do we want to do the engine or do we want to do the suspension? I guess we should pull the engine out. We're going to pull it out anyways. Let's raise it up into the air. I guess we can go grab the engine crane real quick. Wait, where's the engine? Wait, 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 wait. I spent four grand on a Reliant that doesn't have an engine? Are you kidding me? All right, I actually see a lot of people in chat asking for the suspension. I guess we'll start with a bit of used car special. Everybody's favorite. You remember what the design of the wheels were? You can't see the suspension. You can't see the brake. So what if I just... You know, what if I don't? What if I just don't do the suspension and save money? Obviously, at the peril of losing a customer. That's a risk that I'm willing to take. Let's go for some slick racing tires. And obviously I want no offset because we're trying to hide the fact that it's actually not a three-wheeler. Anyways, get these minuscule tires in. I hope they don't show up too much on the outside. The wheels completely block your ability to see the suspension. I guess the only rust that you could actually see is like the actual subframe, but there is not a goddamn chance I'm swapping that. That's nothing a can of spray paint can't fix. Since I'm gonna have 100,000 horsepower, I need mega thick wheels. 520 by 20. That should be good to hand a hundred thousand horsepower. I think we made the right choice, boys. Oh my God, look at the bolt. Also, look at how, <laughs> look at how deep dish that is. I'm just saying, if we get even an ounce of wheel spin, <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling unrealistic. I actually love it. Now we gotta build our 100,000 horsepower engine. Oh my god, everybody wants an i3 with the world's biggest turbo? We're gonna need to do so so many modifications, it's not even funny. I don't think I've ever actually built an i3 engine in this game before. I guess this should be pretty fun. I'm gonna try to get as many parts like this from the tuning shop. They give me a little bit extra horsepower. After what happened to me with my PLP50 I tried to buy, I think I should try to buy a Reliant Robin instead. If I turned it into the AR12 delivery van. Okay, now I have the urge to write off a Reliant Robin on my tax 
taxes. This sounds like a great idea, boy. In the UK where my grandparents lived, they knew a guy who had a Reliant Robin. The guy would go out to the Reliant Robin and do touch-up paint with, I'm not joking, with nail polish. He went to the nail polish store and match the color of his Reliant Robin with nail polish and then use the nail polish to fix his car. You know what I think would be really cool? A Reliant Robin engine swap with a Mazda MX-5 engine. It would be really cool, okay? Somebody said swap it with a Hayabusa. Bro, imagine a Reliant Robin that rev to like 14,000 RPM. I'm gonna have some bolts to do underneath, but I think we're pretty much done with this build. I guess the nice thing about working on a three-cylinder is there's like no bolts to put in. All I need to do is figure out a way to import a Reliant Robin to Canada. I think the Canadian government might call it slightly unsafe, but you know, if it passes the 25 year rule, like what's stopping me, right? Yoink the engine off the engine stand. I guess it's time to see if I built this thing correctly. A hundred percent condition. We didn't miss anything. We are looking good. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the little engine in there. It's so funny. It's small. I mean, it's got a great personality. Great personality. Let's get our gearbox in. One thing we're definitely going to need for this is a custom built gearbox. That way, I'll be able to tune all of my gears. Since I'm going to have 100,000 horsepower, we're going to need to tune our gears so we don't just spin our wheels everywhere. I also need an exhaust pipe. Grab one of those from the tuning shop. An extra 2% horsepower from that. Thank you. I think the Reliant Robin doesn't have a drive shaft in this game. The Bluetooth drive shaft is a little worrying. Once again, future me's problem. Let's get the fuel tank in. I think we'll be good to get this thing on the dyno. If I've done everything properly, it should turn on first try. True, true, true. No, I, I, I yeah, uh, that is an important part of an engine. Nothing to see, nothing to see. Did I just try to start an engine without oil? Yes. I'm a golf owner. The way I usually tell if there's oil in my car is if it's dripping onto the floor and I see it every time I go to get in the car. I'm just saying, that's how you know there's oil in your golf. There was no oil dripping from this. I forgot. On the downside, we only made 150 horsepower. On the bright side though, we made 69 more newton meters of torque than stock. Give me one second, boys. I'm gonna fix this. That is a little bit better now. We've got a big engine. Visibility is an optional extra. The way you drive this one is actually by doing the Mr. Bean. Either by putting a couch on the roof and sitting on the roof, or sticking your head out the window and driving. Now we need to give it another dyno. Do we have 100,000 horsepower? I think we might be good. Come on. 103,000. Thousand horsepower from our three cylinder boy. We don't have that many options for this thing, but the options we do have are pretty cool. Do we want a little uh roof rack? I think the roof rack could make a nice touch for drag racing. And it'll give Mr. Bean a nice place to mount his, you know, couch cushion. And I've got anti-roll bars. That's so sick. I love it. What color should we paint our Reliant Robin? I think a yellow Reliant Robin actually goes hard. Let's do it. We're only fools and horses just with, you know, 100,000 horsepower. All right, we do need to give it a quick little alignment as well to make sure it actually drives in a straight line. I think it's now time to test our Reliant Robin. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, wait, I don't have a steering wheel. Don't, don't try it yet. That would have been really, really, really bad. Let's go for this lovely Pagani steering wheel. I think that'll go well on the interior. Lovely. I think the steering wheel is actually more expensive than our entire car, but do the anti-roll bars actually work? Whoa. What the f Make your predictions. What speed do you think our Reliant Robin super van can hit. I'm trying to throttle control as much as I can. It's going to be really hard. To be able to put 100,000 horsepower down is always going to be difficult. There's 300 kilometers an hour, nearly 400 kilometers an hour, 500 still accelerating. Oh my God. 600 kilometers an hour, still going. 750. That's 100% gas. Are you kidding me? We really maxed 
boost our gears? If I tune the gears even more, we could do a thousand kilometers an hour. Oh, uh, problem, problem, problem. <laughs> Big problem. Nine gears on this thing. All right, let's try it. 600 kilometers an hour. Oh my God, this might actually work. Come on, keep going. 700. We're gonna take down our previous best. 750. There's 800. No, no. I've died. I died. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. 760. 800. Yes. 850. I don't know what the, it was that 900. It's not going straight anymore. Oh, 891 kilometers an hour. That was unbelievably successful. I'm gonna take it to the drag strip. I feel like it's a little unfair if we do a one mile drag race. What if we do a half mile? Half mile drag race, A class. I need to get off the line and stop my wheel spin as fast as humanly possible. Rev it up, watch the lights, and away we go. Just... All right, so it turns out it's not a really good drag racing car. I paid only four grand for it. I had to buy a lot of stuff for the engine. Did I make money? $40,000. I've never seen a more dangerous car in my life. 